Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm gonna play you a clip of Gabby's father and her stepfather talking at Gabby's funeral. Normally I, I talk from the hip, but I had to put some points together so I don't kind of detract when I want to get out there. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out, you know, uh, showing your respect for Gabby. But I don't want you guys to be sad, to be honest with you. You know, Gabby didn't live that way. That wasn't her way. You know, matter of fact, if, if you knew Gabby, she was always pretty a happy girl. You know, people would gravitate towards her. You know, her nature was always to smile and, and treat everybody kind. You know, so she always had, she always made people feel welcome. You know, she always made sure that she made time for people. It didn't matter who you were. She always treated people with respect. It really didn't matter. She cared. She genuinely cared. And that's how people would always, you know, uh, would always come up to her and just sit and talk. And it would take forever to get her out of places, you know. So um, it really is just wild to see, you know, what has happened here. You know, Gabby, growing up, I mean, she always had those blue eyes, right? Those those ridiculous blue eyes, and you couldn't you couldn't keep her in trouble. Like you would ground her, and she'd start crying. I fall when I see a when I see a lady cry. I, I fall. If a guy cries, I don't care. You know, but if I see <laughs> if I see you know a female cry, especially my daughter, I I fall like a deadly car. It's bad, you know. So she'd be crying. She actually. Would just do that on purpose, just so I would take her off ground. Like, yeah, so and it worked. But uh, but she was she was great. I mean, it didn't matter. She always wanted to go out and do stuff, whether it was uh, scuba diving with her, you know, with her uncle, you know, myself, or um, hiking the Appalachian Trail. If surfing sand dunes in Colorado, which, by the way, I'm not yelled I'm jealous of. You will see me do that. I'm going to fall a lot, but I'm going to try. Because she had some wild experiences that, you know, that I could only wish that, that you know, I could experience. It's, it's just wild, the stuff that she was doing, you know, and to see that type of joy that that brought her and the stones it took to do that at such a young age. Now, that's something I want you to take a look at these pictures. And I want you to be inspired by him. That's what we're looking for. That's something that I want to see. If there's a trip that you guys want to take, take it now. Do it now while you got the time. If there's a relationship that you're in that might not be the best thing for you, leave it now. We've got more emails of men and women doing that. Taking care of themselves first. Take care of themselves first. And watching that happen and seeing that type of inspiration. An email we got from a young lady uh, that her child, who was 11 years old, wants to travel the country like Abby did in the van. And she's making her kids, uh, making her parents take her to the, uh, um, I forget, the, 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 the Golden Arches. Uh, the Arches National. The Arches National. Arches National. Arches National. Arches National. Just wild stuff that she's inspired people to do. You know, <sighs> Gabby is the most amazing person I've ever met. So if you're going to leave here today, I'm asking that you guys be inspired by the way she treated people. All people. Love knows no gender, love knows no bounds. She didn't care. She genuinely loved people. It didn't matter. So when you leave here today, be inspired by what she brought to the table. Because the entire planet knows this woman's name now. And she's inspired a lot of women and a lot of men to do what's best for them first. Put yourself first. And do it now while you have the time. I couldn't be more proud as a father. <laughs> so, yeah. best, just to be clear, <laughs> Gabby had four parents. They weren't step parents. She had four parents that genuinely loved her as if she was her own. And this man is one.
it's hard to see uh, behind us, but I still see Cavi as this. The world sees this, but like Joe said, this this is what I what I see. This is, this is when I got to be blessed to know Gabby. Um, you all got to see uh, our extended family, the Firehouse family, come from here, and that's what we do. We do we, we do, uh, we do funerals, unfortunately, and we're good at it. I've done it throughout my career. I've written eulogies. I plan these funerals. And not one of them could ever plan or prepare me for this moment. My grandmother told me that she's going to be 100 next month when we buried my mom early this year. Parents aren't supposed to bury their children. This is not how life is supposed to work. But it is an unfortunate reality. I spent a good portion of my life working and trying to earn money to provide for our family and our kids to give them the best life. And Gabby, at 22 years old, helped teach me that you can always make money, but you can't make up for lost time. Gabby loved life and lived her life every single day. Every day that I still see her as this child lived her life. She is an example for all of us to live by, to enjoy every moment in this beautiful world as she did. Love and give love to all like she did. Gabby had a tattoo on her arm that read, Let It Be. The title of a song from a band she loved. The beautiful thing about music is it can mean so many different things to so many different people. There's a verse from that song that speaks to me. When the brokenhearted people living in the world agree, there will be an answer. Let it be. It's okay to mourn for Gabby. It's okay to feel sorrow and pain. But we want to celebrate her and how she lived her life. We will need to hold on to all those wonderful memories we shared with her. Because that will be the answer. Let it be. Right. Let it be. Let it be. I'm never short of words, but I've been up for days, weeks now with this. And the love and support from everybody from all across the world is absolutely amazing. Okay, guys, so I'm going to live stream the press release with Gabby's parents that is supposed to be at one o'clock Eastern time. So I'll chat with you guys there if you can make it. Bye, everybody.